hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on tony bram at jme tony of course all through last year down to the beginning of this year has been winning has been closing deals has been winning endorsement deals as well and of course our fans have been loving it and appreciating our effort on getting better every day in fact she's referred to as world best by her fans yes the towing titans well another recent achievement and recognition she got is right from our one and only lagos state governor babajide sawolu yes she received a recognition award from the governor for the international women's day appreciating her as a woman her achievement and how she has been able to uphold so much integrity as an actor as an artist a creative person and so many more to mention but a few well right top of the recognition was shared by tony herself it was a beautiful write up and signed by the legal state of no babajide sonwolu caption reading i quote Dear Olutoni Abraham at JME, dear Tony, Echo 100 Women, Happy International Women's Day. On this occasion of the 2022 International Women's Day, it is my pleasure and privilege to write this letter to you to celebrate your unending commitment to a more equal and equitable world. Half the population of our country are women and girls. Anything that limits them limits all of us and stunts our capacity to achieve our full potential as a nation. Therefore, the trailblazing work that you do is very important and necessary. Many of us, young and old, female and indeed male, are inspired to follow in your step and fully play our part in achieving a world where everyone is truly valued and acknowledged, regardless of gender, age, language or skin color. It is heartwarming to see the progress being made in our state and in the country one glass ceiling at a time but we would be the first to acknowledge that more can be done and faster too that we are an acclaimed center of excellence is in large part due to the accomplishments of audacious and visionary people like you thank you for your unforgettable contribution towards building this greater lagos of our dreams on this day and always lagos state celebrates you we salute your boundary breaking exploits and your bold and visible presence in the space and places that matter we also honor the work that you do to expand these spaces for more people especially women and girls on behalf of the lagos state government i am pledging a total and unequivocal support for every effort to achieve a Lagos where all women and girls can live their lives to the fullest and achieve their potential without limits. I applaud you. Lagos applauds you. Happy International Women's Day 2022. Hashtag Echo for Women. Signed by Babajide Lushola Sawondu, Governor of Lagos State. And quote, this was the letter written to her by the Lagos State Government appreciating our works. And of course, this letter sparked quite a controversy. Well, before then, she added a caption which said, Thank you, sir, your excellency, at Dide Sonwolu and at Lagos State Government. Thanks for the recognition. This, as I said earlier, sparked a lot of reaction as some people, some fans, out the conclusion that this letter is meant to be for Funke Akidele. Why? Because she was the one who was initially called by the Lagos State Government to face for NCDC by putting out information to people so they can observe the rules that guides COVID-19. Fortunately, unfortunately, for Funke Akidele being the face of NCDC, she was the first person to violate this rule. And so, therefore, she was replaced by Tony Abraham. And this is one of the reasons why people are saying Gaki Dele was the one who was supposed to receive this letter if what happened in 2020 didn't happen. Gaki Dele was arrested alongside her husband. They both are to court and fined. The government banned on social gathering in the light of the corona outbreak prior to the party held by Funke Akilele. Funke Akilele had appeared in a campaign by Detail in conjunction with NCDC to educate Nigerians on how to protect themselves and stop the spread of coronavirus. Following the incident, 
Data Nigeria released an official statement via its Twitter page noting that it does not condone any breach of guideline on COVID-19. The NCDC as well in its response quotes Data Nigeria tweet and stated that it has not engaged brand ambassadors as part of its approach against coronavirus. Akidele was arraigned in court along with her husband JJC Skills and other attendees of the occasion. She was sentenced to 14 years community service along with the 100,000 naira fine. A few days after this was when they saw Tony Abraham appearing in an advert with NCDC to fight against COVID-19. In the video spotted online, Abraham was seen enlightening people of the public in Yoruba language and eventually she said that she didn't replace her colleague as people have speculated. She wrote and I quote, has just been brought to my attention that blogs are reporting that I am now NCDC ambassador, implying that I have been used to replace a colleague. That line is thought necessitated. I put this out there. I am not an ambassador to NCDC. I do not like the narrative that I am trying to take advantage of a bad situation. I support the campaign against COVID-19. I appeared on a video campaign against the pandemic, but please do not drag another person down. Thank you. This was me, Abraham, explaining that, yes, she was part of the campaign against COVID-19, but she is not an ambassador like Funke Akidele was. And at the same time, people shouldn't use this opportunity to drag people down because of the situation at hand. It was really bad. It was really sad. For a lot of people in the Nollywood industry. Another thing that has brought Tony together with Funke Akidele is the movie that they both released on the same date of last year. We go stand the out to end Omogeto the saga. Yes, it was a thug of war between the fans of Funke Akidele and Tony Abraham and the lovers of this too. What eventually broke the camel's back was when a movie critic came out and said people shouldn't watch Ghost and the Tao 2 but rather watch Omageta the Saga. Well recently Box Office released the list of women who have grossed a lot an amazing amount of money from their movies and Tony Abraham was topping the list yet fans still came out and said if Funke Akidele was on this list she would be the one topping the list. Well, Funke Akidele's movie was shown on Netflix and it was not shown at the cinema box office. And rating this, Tony Abraham was the number one, grossing over 357 million naira for our movie The Ghost and the Tout 2, Prophetess Aki and Popo. These were the three movies Tony Abraham was ranked number one, highest grossing actresses of 2021 people still went ahead to say that if Funke Akidele had won a movie in the cinema it would be ranked one of the highest in fact she's going to be the one to top the list well Funke Akidele is smart in her own amazing way by owning scene one production yes sooner or later they will also be premiering movies but theirs and other people's rating and ranking how much each movie will be making but for now these two artists are doing excellently well in their fields they are achieving a lot in fact omogeto itself grossed over 500 million naira on its own well i believe these two actresses are doing excellently well and not in any competitions with each other except of course fans always find something to say about these two well we say congratulations once again to tony abraham as she received a recognition letter from the legal state government well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye